Hello, we give Gibster here, and today we have the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection box. Now, these retail for £119.99, so £120. But because they've been massively overprinted, you can normally find them between £90 and £100. I brought this one for £89.99. And these were massively overprinted because of the celebrations ultra premium collection they underprinted that collection box and scalpers would buy them and then sell them for two or three times the retail price which was not good for the community and the community was very unhappy so they overprinted these and it brought the prices of them right down and this is the last hoorah for sword and shield this was the last Sword and Shield product to be produced, a uh, celebration of Sword and Shield. Now let's get into it. I have been open, wanting to open this for a while, but as I said, the retail was £119.99. So I was waiting for it to go down a bit. It went down quite a bit and I missed out on it because I brought some other things. But now it's starting to be steady at around £90 but if you can find these for £85 or less definitely pick them up so we had the box with Charizard the big promo Pokemon first time opening one of these big boxes it is a very nice looking box so I think you light it down and pop it up like that so you pop it open, you get this lovely artwork of the Charizard V Packs. And then you get this box on top. A little gold box from the top. And now I'll open it up for you and you can have a look. Because this is the playmat. This is a Charizard V Max playmat. Look at that. Very nice playmat. And I think it's still worth quite a bit. I think it's worth about between 10 and 15 pounds still. So that's 10 or 15 pounds you've just got back straight away from the playmat. Rolled it up, put that to the side. And then spin it around and drop it down. Got a bit of an issue because of the camera. There we go. So you get your three drawers. Which you put out. That one has packs in it. I'll start with this one. So you open this one up. You get some gold metal dice. Got quite a bit of weight to them. You get a nice set of golden dice. You get metal damage counts. They actually look really nice in this white and gold. Much better than the plasticky ones that you get in most the train boxes and stuff. And then you get the Charizard V Max sleeves. Very nice. These still go quite well, not a lot, but about three to five pounds. So ten or fifteen for Playmat and three to five for the sleeves. But that's draw number one. And then draw number two. I'm looking for it. And this is what we're looking for. Code card for the whole product. One lucky person out of that. And then you get the promos in this packet. These promos, you can buy this packet for about 25 to 30 pounds. So they're not exactly pricey anymore, but. They are still amazing artworks, and I did buy this box because of these cards. They are amazing cards. And to show all you, you guys. So we have the regular Charles RV, but these cards have had a very bad prep for printing. As you can see on this one, the left side's a lot heavier than the right side. But still, amazing card. It's my favourite one out of all the Charizards, Charizard V. 
And then we go on to the Charizard VMAX. Such nice artworks. You can see all the textures on it. Looks amazing. Very Godzilla like there. And the centering doesn't look too bad. Maybe a bit heavy right to left, but it's not too bad. And then we have the Charizard V Star. And if you look at it, that's the Mewtwo from the Crown Zenith. It's the other angle in the Crown Zenith, so it's hit from Mewtwo's angle, and then Charizard in this collection box, he's hit from Charizard's angle. And this one's centering looks very good. How's the back? Oh, back's very heavy top to bottom. And a bit of a corner. Dink. But they are very, very, very nice cards. And I'm actually quite upset they took this one out of Crown Zenith. English and American sets, we love taking some of the best cards out and putting them in these collection boxes like the Mew Ultra Premium Collection. We took the Mew and the Mew 2 out of Pokemon 151 and the gold card, that golden Mew out of Pokemon 151 and put them into that box, making Pokemon 151 a lot less of a set, I think. I do understand it, you can guarantee those cards, but <laughs> there's, there's something different when you open a pack and you get that card instead of buying a product and guaranteeing the cards. I can understand why I do it, and it is a good idea, but maybe pick some of the mid-level ones and leave the big ones in the set. Because, just like these Charizards, the price of these cards, as I said, you can buy a little packet for £25 to £30. Pound. It's ruined the price of those cards, and they're amazing artwork cards. And then, yet, oh, oh, we have a metal Charizard coin. Very nice, it goes that way, so metal Charizard flip coin. Very nice, all oh, metal, the dice and the counters. And then you get some packs. You get another little drawer, get one V star marker, but that's regular, they're not metal. I don't know why they didn't make metal. And then you get a big, big selection of packs. So I'll go through the packs you get. We've got two Lost Origins, three Astral Radiance, three Brilliant Stars, and this is the second print run. We've got five Fusion Strike. So in the first print run of these, you get. A vivid voltage and two dark and a darkness, uh, one vivid voltage and one darkness ablaze. But in the second print run of the Charizard UPCs, you get five fusion strikes instead of just three. So, first print run, you get three fusion strikes, a vivid voltage, and a darkness ablaze. And the second print run, you get five fusion strikes, which I am very happy with, especially with those massive alt arts. And then you get the biggest set in Sword and Shield, you get three packs of Evolving Skies. Hopefully we can get an whole art evolution. <laughs> I really want the Leafeon V, the regular one. It's probably one of my favourite cards out of that set, and I haven't pulled it. I've pulled quite a lot of the other ones. I have the Rayquaza V Max. And I have the Umbreon V, not the Moonbreon, I have the regular Umbreon V, which, a very unpopular opinion, I think it's better than the Moonbreon. And I also have the Noibat. The Noibat is such an underrated card. It's very cheap. If you want to buy it singles, it's probably about £30. And it's an amazing artwork. It's the Batman artwork. And I actually have it graded. So, we have all of our packs. So we'll start from go first set. So this set was released before the, all the others, Fusion Strike. So we'll go into the five, Fusion Strike first. 
because we have five of them. Oh, code cards the wrong way around. Code card. One, two, three, four. Guess energy. Leaf energy. Dark energy. Simipore. Primeip. Shauna. Pansage. Klefki. Sizzlepede. Geodude. Schnubble. First Hollow Q font. And a non hollow Gudra. So no hit in the first pack. And people have said these the packs in these UPCs aren't very good. But it's all single, so it's all randomly done. Code card got rid of the wrong way around. One, two, three, four. Guess energy, fight energy. Water energy. Double. Excadrill. Crocodile. Wulu. Pansage. Klefki. Sizzlepede. Mudkip. Reverse Hollow Drillbert. And <laughs> non hollow Vicavolt. So, yeah, people have said uh, pull rates in these have been very bad, but the wall from singles, they're all just put in there so it's random. I have seen people, someone pull the Moon Prion out of an Evolving Skies and the Charizard V Alt Art from Brilliant Stars in one UPC. So, I think it's just if you get it or if you don't, there's your code card. One, two, three, four, guess energy, lightning energy, leaf energy, Shauna, Corvus Squad, Dracolt, Staryu, Toxel, Meltan, Volpix, very nice Volpix art right now, plus all, ooh, that's a good reverse, yeah, reverse Arcanine, very nice, very nice indeed, and then non hollow Zahora, so three packs of Fusion Strike, and no hits. So we're we'll going to pack number four. Fusion Strike is a second year Sorting Shield set, so there's all arts in them, but there's no trainer gallery. So, and Fusion Strike is a massive set, and I've done that code card the wrong way again. One, two, three, four. Guess energy, metal energy, dark energy. As I said, look. It's such a big set, 264 cards in the normal set, so I think it's near 300 cards in the Fusion Strike set. Zerud, Primate, Shelder, Zora, Tiny Mole, Clubopus, Baneri, Reverse Hollow, Kavana, and oh, non hollow Center Scorch. So <coughs> maybe we got one of these bad UPCs because we have no hits out of four packs. But last pack of Fusion Strike, hopefully we can get a hit. We do have three Fergia sets in here, so could pick up. And it's that A round, code card. One, two, three, four. Guess in the Fight Energy. Fight Energy. Trevon. Excadrill. Judge. Panzer. Krogonk. Mankey, Grubbin, Baskelin, ooh, very cute artwork, Reverse Hollow Marrow, and Non Hollow Cloister, so no hit in any of the Fusion Strike packs, so that was quite bad. We're going to my favourite underappreciated set, Astro Radiance. Has a pretty good pull rate, has a trainer gallery, has our arts. No massive our arts, but still has our arts in it. So all the code cards are the wrong way around for these. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Guess energy. Fighting energy. Psychic energy. Super effective glasses. Crick tune. Unidentified fossil. Eevee, very cute Eevee. Heracross. Teddy Arisa. Pseudo Magnemite, first holo, Hisu and Basculin, non holo, Reggie Steel. It's a legendary, but it's not like it. <coughs> so we're going to our second pack of Astral Radiance. There we go, code cards that way. One, two, three, four, guess energy, fire energy, light energy, 
Temple Sinnoh, Crazy Dos, Golduck, Suin Basculin, Glamiao, Poochiena, Swine Up, Suin Quillfish. Ooh, that's not a very nice one. Reverse Hollow Ursaluna, and oh, we did get a hit. Our first hit. Hollow Rampardos from Astral Radiant. So seven packs in, and we get our first hit, which is a Hollow. <laughs> But it is a hit, and we do have those three amazing art Charizards, so it's not too bad. But last pack of Astral Radiance. Code card. We need to make these packs for the UPC because all the code cards are the wrong way around. Three, four. Guess energy. Water energy. Metal energy. Sheldon. Uxis, Suing Overquill, Suing Quillfish, Suing Basculin, uh, Puchiana, Clamiao, Yanma. Ooh, and there we go. We get a trainer gallery. Galarian Obstacle. Very nice artwork. I love the shiny in Pokemon Go. Looks so cool with Pierce. Very nice artwork. Having a little sing. Amazing. And behind it, we have. Uh, Non hollow Glaceon, so no hit in there. Well, there is a hit, but no hit in the last slot. We do get a hit from the reverse slot in the trainer gallery, Galarian Obstagoon. Very nice. And then we'll go into Brilliant Stars. That's the card we want. The Charizard Ultra. The Arceus is pretty good as well. But the rest of it's not too great. I think it's got a half decent trainer gallery. I think there's a Rayquaza V Max in it. Oh, code card. One, two, three, four. Guess energy. Metal energy. Leaf energy. Five. Bravo. Staravia. One Farno. Nose Pass. Milsery. Cub Chew. Dedene. Far Fetched. Ooh, that's very nice. Very solid ice cube. If you don't know, my favorite animal is penguin. Ice cube is a penguin. Find it here. Ooh, that is a very nice full art. Cynthia's ambition. I think this actually might be worth a little bit because it's Cynthia. And a lot of people love Cynthia. She's very powerful. She's obviously the champion from Diamond and Pearl era. That's a very nice hit, Cynthia's Ambition, and I do collect Flint Stars, have Binder of it, and that will look very nice in my Binder. So our first actual big hit comes from Brilliant Stars. So second pack of Brilliant Stars, Arceus pack artwork, and that was a white code card, we got a hit in it, so maybe the code cards don't mean anything either. I don't know, it's very weird. Code card, what oh, doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. Guess energy. Leaf energy. Light energy. Primbla. Umperno. Bear trick. Boizel. Horlucha. Throw. Magmar. Star U. First hollow. Our creamy. And a non hollow. Luxray. So, one more pack of brilliant stars. Code card. One, two, three, four. Guess the energy. Leaf energy. Keep saying leaf energy, it'll be leaf energy eventually. <laughs> Fight energy. Roseanne's back up. Floatzel. Choice belt. Chai Meckle. Chimchar. Snow Rumped. Bowtoy. Mincino. First Hollow Morgan. Ooh, and an Arceus V. So one of the. Box Pokemon for Brilliant Stars, Arceus V. I don't know if you can get this in the uh, Arceus V from GameStop exclusive one or Amazon exclusive for England. Get this and the V map, the V star, this Arceus V and the Arceus V star in that box. A good selection of packs. But that is another hit from us from Brilliant Stars. 
Um, we'll go into the Evolving Skies. We'll do the three Evolving Skies. And then we'll finish off with Lost Origin. Because Lost Origin have a better pull rate than Evolving Skies. Obviously, this is the big set. This is where you want the big hit, the old art hit. There's so many in here. It's Moon Beyond. You've got uh, Rekorza V Max. You've got uh, Leafeon, Glaceon. One, two, three, four. Sylveon. So many. That Drug Knight. Really love that Drug Knight. Guess in G. Dark Energy. Yeah, we've got one. <laughs> Sometimes I've got a whole video without guessing energy. Dark Energy. Have like. Switching Cups. Tentacruel. Cutie Fly. Applin. Sableye, Nicket, Bergmite, Reverse Hollow Herdier, oh. <laughs> Non Hollow Melotic. Just my luck with Evolving Skies. After a lot over the last year where it's become expensive and I've opened packs, I haven't really pulled anything interesting from Evolving Skies. <laughs> Code Cut. One, two, three, four. Let's do two in a row. Psychic Energy. Lion Hedge, Toy Catcher, Rohan, Figure Off, Chin Chow, Petalil, Dino, Teddy Arasa, Feebas, Reverse Hollow Lombre, and a non hollow Tallow Blade. So two non hits out of the Evolving Skies. One more Evolving Skies pack that Duraladon pack artwork. One of the worst art you can get in this set, and I have pulled the Duraladon V Max. Oh, oh, obviously. <laughs> Code card. One, two, three, four. Guess in a G. Psychic energy. <sighs> Fighting ID. Rubber gloves. Fluet. Boof shake. Pump kaboo. Bayon. Love disc. C dot. Slack off. Reverse hollow. Zorok. And <laughs> a non hollow. Flap off. So. Three packs of Evolving Skies and no hits. And that's why I left two packs of Lost Origin. Because it has quite a good pull rate. Maybe not the alt art pull rate is very hard, but there are only four alt arts in this set. But the other big hit cards are pretty good. And the training gallery is one of the best. One, two, three, four. Well, the best in my opinion. Guess the energy. Fire energy. <sighs> oh, there's something shiny. Light energy. Fandina. A bomber snow. Lost City. Phantom. Makuita. Electric. Macro. Shabbit. Oh, here we go. Reverse Hollow Lady. And. Oh, there it is. We've got another full art. A Drapion V full art this time. So, a Pokemon full art. Not a trainer for that. It's actually very nice color co coloring with the blue mixing with the purple and the blue on the actual Pokemon. It's very nice, very good color palette. But there we go, full art Drapion V, and I do collect. I do have a binder of Lost Origin as well. It's probably one of my favorite sets from Sword and Shield. Lost Origin, just because of that training gallery. Training gallery is amazing. Three Pikachus, Gold Pikachu, Gold Mew, Snorlax, uh, Charizard in there, Snorlax in there, Gengar in there. Such a good training gallery. Hopefully we can get one out of here. Good God. One, two, three, four. Guess energy. Fight energy. Yay! Two video. Yes. Fighting the Higgy. Lost City. Carving. Kamala. Apalm. Rosalia. Gumi. Meditite. Squirrel Reverse Hollow. Hisuian Zora. And a Hollow Shift Tree. So we do get a hit. You can get a Trend Gallery hit, which I really wanted, but we do get another hit. And you get this nice, with Lost Origin, you get this nice Lost Zone smoke coming out of the card. I think it's a very nice touch to regular hollows. Makes it a bit more interesting. <coughs> so that's all of the packs. Go over the pools. 
So we got Hollow Shiftry from Lost Origin. You got the Drapion V Full Art from Lost Origins. Two Lost Origins, two hits, told you, good pull rate. Uh, we got an Arceus V from Brilliant Stars. A Full Art, Cynthia's Ambition from Brilliant Stars, very happy with that. Cynthia's very popular, I like Cynthia. I don't normally like waifu cards. And then we got a Galarian Obstagoon from Astral Radiance, I think it is. Yeah, Astral Radiance, Galarian Obstagoon. And then we got a Fusion Strike Hollow Rampardos. Might be. Nope, it's Astral Radiance Rampardos Hollow. And then we got our promos the Charizard V, my favourite of the three. It's very nice. The Charizard V Max. They are so amazing. And I'm so upset they took them out of the set. So why couldn't they put the Charizard V and Charizard V Max in here? The, the V Star in the set. Well, they all came out of Crown Zenith. And just made Crown Zenith a little worse, but still an amazing set. Crown Zenith. Imagine if it had these three Charizards in it, it'd be ridiculous. Well, there we go. There's the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection box. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. See ya.